Listener Ed wrote in and says, um, one of the really slick features of Focus that I haven't seen many people talking about is its custom pages option. This, for me, is more useful than the notification granularity. He says, I've been using it to organize all my apps that I used to have in folders back into full pages again. Since I ran into this feature, feature I've created custom focuses, or is it foci, uh, for things like, say, my you know streaming viewing shortcuts, for instance, so I can launch and control things on my Apple TV. He says, I, I've also created custom focuses for music production, media editing, photo editing, etc. I used to have a ton of individual folders organized this way, but now I've moved back to full pages of apps and organized my focuses to have different app and widget templates for different uses. But here's where it gets wicked cool, he says. Uh, he sounds like my neighbors. Uh, I, I don't know if Ed's from Massachusetts, but that's, that's a Massachusetts thing for sure. Uh, I've also created shortcuts, which can be launched either via Siri or the shortcut buttons in a widget. For my different focuses. Now, if I want to watch entertainment, all my streaming service apps comes up, come up on my homepage and my million other non-related apps and their pages are hidden. I have another shortcut for photo editing and all my photo apps like Procreate and Pixelmator and the endless GIF editing apps all come up on the home screen and the second page if they don't fit on one. I've got one for music production, as he said before. Yeah, what a great use of focus. Thank you for sharing that. That they, I don't think I would have thought of that. Um, it, you know, it's so easy to, it's so easy. We find this even when answering your questions, we had one this week where it was like, we think this is a bug. And it was like, yep, must be a bug. It was like, wait, 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 wait. I don't think it's a bug, you know? Um, and it, it, you know, it's so easy to just get stuck on that train. And what Apple has been telling us about these focus trains is that it's all about minimizing distractions. And I suppose what Ed just described is could be related to minimizing distractions, but it's, you know, it's just about presenting you the things that you need. So yeah, very good. 